Churches have failed our people. That's yeah. what I'm saying for black men. You are the low state and you are the greatest thing God ever created. That's what I'm saying for you men to come back in your place. Rule this earth like God made it for you to do. If you're not as real, you ain't no kin to me. If you don't fit the 12, then you my enemy. We are in the land of our captivity. Someday we going home, so you best believe. If you not as real, you ain't no kin to me. If you don't fit the 12, then you my enemy. We are in the land of our captivity. Someday we going home, so you best believe. Open your eyes, time to awake. We make up the torch as of Israel today. We the real Jews, make no mistakes. They in our homeland, they phony, they faking it. Ain't about color, it's more about race. God chose a nation to rule in this place. Jacob, he love, he saw, he hate. You find that in Malachi, one of us trade. Trade, the rest, you know, three. Jerusalem is a motherland, above and it's free. There's Galatians, Quattro, B, A, B, C. Get it, got it, a friend, they capiche. If I gotta fast for a couple of weeks, just to get the kingdom, then the will let it be. I am keeping the laws, I keep every beat. Keep every Sabbath break, bread than I drink Who's ready for Passover 2016 in the month of birthday Will we gather in me? There's a whole lot of laughter We dance and we sing I'm living for seven days out the week Can't wait to see what the elders gon' teach Pull out my Bible, then pull out my seat That's the spiritual food Bon appetit Some say truth hurts Read it and weep If you ain't tryna hit me Then move up the street When I exit your city I dust up my feet Lace up my boots That's equipped with them cleats Lift up my voice like a trumpet in speed You can see my zeal, hear my zeal All in my speech See that I'm serious, I don't show no teeth We are imperial to find that and read It cannot be normal like sand on Where's the black man at that's looking for salvation? That's Where's the right? black man at that's gonna rule his household? Where you at? We're looking for you. Come on. Yeah. Fall out, brother. So what are we out here teaching? We teach it that you blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right! And if you still calling yourself a black man, a Jamaican, a Haitian, you still got a slave mentality on you. Cause you can't find those names in the Bible anywhere. And I know our people like to give us that general broad answer when we ask you, what does God call you? You say, I'm a child of God. Well, God's kids got names. Right. He, na he created all the people on the earth and he chose one specific people and he gave them names. He called them Israelites. That's right. If you're a so-called black American, your name in the Bible is Judah. If you're a so-called West Indian, Jamaican, Trinidadian, God calls you Benjamin in the Bible. You're from the same tribe that Paul was from. If you're a so-called Haitian, God calls you Levi in the Bible. These are your God-given names, and you have a God-given responsibility. You can't serve God or Jesus how you want to. Right. I know that Christianity talk, uh, told you that we got non-denominational churches. You found the church or the pastor that fits you. Right. Well, that ain't according to the Bible. Right. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. You don't, this ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way with God. That's right. And we're going to prove that out of the Bible here real quick. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. Read the words of Jesus Christ and let's see what he said about how to serve God. Bring it out. Bring it out. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. So Jesus the Christ said, don't think I came to destroy God's laws. Right. Don't think he came to do away with the dietary law. Right. Don't think he came to do away with the law of you women not wearing pants. Right. Don't think he came to do away with the law of you not keeping the Sabbath day. Right. Jesus Christ said what? Think not that I have come to destroy the law. When he said think not, he said don't even let that thought enter your mind. Don't let that thought cross your mind that you can do whatever you want to, that you can serve God how you want to and have a personal relationship with him on your terms. Yeah, God knows my heart. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. Religion, Christianity, your false pastors that was taught by the same people that enslaved them at seminary school say you can serve God however you want to. Just find the religion and the denomination that fits you and what you believe in. How do we have a hundred different denominations and religions and we got one Bible? That don't make no sense. You should ask yourself. Brother, you got a question right here? 
Huh? You ain't got no questions? So that's a question that you should ask yourself. How do we got one Bible, so many different denominations? Right. You got a bunch of different religions because they are man-made. Yeah. Bring it up. Bring it they up. are not of God. Some white man, while you was in slavery, took your Bible and said, this is what I think it believes. I'm going to be a Baptist. Right. This is what I think it believes. I'm going to be a Pentecostal. Right. This is what I think it means. I'm going to be a Seventh-day Adventist. Show me in the Bible where Jesus or God told you to be a Jehovah Witness. Bring it out. That is nowhere in the Bible that God or Jesus told you blacks and Hispanics to be Jehovah Witnesses, to be Baptists. John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin. It wasn't the religion. John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin. He didn't have a church in Jerusalem. It's time for us to wake up. Wake up out of sleep. So Christ said, what? Think not. They are come to destroy the law. So you know what one of them laws are, brother, that Christ said, don't think I came to destroy? One of those laws is, don't think I came and destroyed the law that you can shave your beard. Because I see you got your beard shaved, and you might, you might not have known that, that there was in the Bible. I understand because religion and these false pastors have told us we not under the law, we under grace. Right, 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 right. Well, if we under the law then, that means I can serve any kind of God and get to heaven. Right. That means I can serve Buddha and get to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Well, God said, have no other gods before me. So you mean to tell me I can go to Christian church and I can worship Buddha and I can still make it to the kingdom of heaven? Right. It don't make no sense. So I was saying, Christ said, don't think I came to do away with the laws. Let's get the law that Christ said, I didn't come to destroy that law. Let's read on here in Matthew, though, because I want to give you the complete understanding on the law just on the beard and how important it is, okay? Read that. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy. Now listen to that, brother. Jesus Christ said twice in the same breath, I didn't come to destroy. When you repeat something to your kids, I don't know, you might not have kids, you got uh, uh, nieces, nephews, things like that. If you say something to, to them twice, that means you are trying to emphasize a point, right? Bring it up, bring it up. So Jesus said, don't think I come to destroy. I come not to destroy the law. He's trying to get it in your mind because in 2016, God knew you was going to have false pastors out here saying you not under the law. Christ said twice, don't think I come to do away with the laws. Bring it out. That means you men can't shave your beards. You women can't be putting on pants like men. Bring it out. That was given to the man. God said you can't eat pork, so no, you can't pray over pork chops. Right. No, you can't do that. Right. I know your pastor said, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4, said all food is clean. Oh, in Acts 10, Peter said, uh, call thou not uncommon or, or, or unclean what I have cleansed. That ain't what it's talking about. Right. Yeah. If that is what it's talking about, well, then Peter and Paul just said Jesus Christ was a liar. Because yeah. Jesus said what? Read it from the top again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Oh, so Jesus said, I didn't come to do away with the law. So how can a pastor run to Paul and now say the law is done away with? Right. Is Paul greater than Jesus Christ? Right. No, because Jesus Christ called Paul. Right. He knocked him off the horse and sent him on the mission. Right. Bring it out. So it says, think not that I come to destroy the law. Listen up, brother. Or the prophets. Uh -huh. I come not, I am not come to destroy, Twice. but to fulfill. Read on. Uh, Verse 18. So verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Now these are the words of Jesus Christ. We in the New Testament read in Matthew chapter 5, verse 18. Now, brother, it's a question for you. When we look up into the sky, we can still see the heavens, correct? We still standing right here on the ground, right? So read verse 18 again, the words of Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Read what he said in verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Now you can see heaven, we standing on earth, 
So he said, until heaven and earth pass, one jot, not one comma, one tittle, not one period, shall in no wise pass till all be fulfilled. So Jesus the Christ just said that the law still stands in 2016. And that was written over 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, Jesus said, until you see heaven gone and you see the earth destroyed, my law, God's law, still stand. Right. But when you go to church, they say, we're not under the law, we're under grace. That's why you got baby mamas out here because they don't believe in marriage. Right. That's why you got baby daddies out here because they don't believe in marriage. Right. That's why you got people with high blood pressure, diabetes, because right. they eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, because right. they hang they whole, they whole belief in Jesus the Christ off one scripture. Right. We're not under the law, we're under grace. You know what that is, black people? That's an excuse to stay in your sin. That's, right. That's all it is. You don't want to change, so you find stuff in the Bible that you don't really understand, but it's going to justify you to stay right where you at. Right. But Jesus said, don't think I come to do away with the laws. Right. So what's some of those laws? Give me that in uh, Leviticus 21, because we're speaking about you men. Can you walk around with a shaved face looking like some Greek white baby? Can you do that? Can you look like you in corporate America? Grace, what is the grace? Grace, we under grace. Right. Grace, 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 grace. Well, hey, don't you know OUC give you a grace period to pay the bill? Right. What happens when you get to that grace period and it's up? Right. They gonna cut off your daggone lights. That's right. Guess what, when Christ say your grace is up, you gonna be put to death. Right. There you go, that's right. Same thing, but we gonna get it out the Bible and see what that says, cause don't believe me, believe God. Right. Believe this Bible. Right. Read that in Titus chapter two. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 for the grace of God the what? the grace of God so we speaking about grace right now we speaking about grace because Paul in Romans 6 said we are not under the law but we under grace what was Paul talking about? was he saying we didn't have to keep none of God's laws? Bring it out. was he talking about that? let's see Read it from the top. for the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. What was the grace that God sent to us? It was Jesus the Christ. Because under the old covenant, we had to sacrifice animals for our sins to be forgiven. Can y'all sacrifice animals here in America? Hell, if you kill a dog, they give you five years. Mike Vick killed a dog, dog fight, and they put him in prison. So we know God knew that where you was going to go, you wouldn't be able to sacrifice animals to be forgiven for your sins. So the grace that he sent was Jesus the Christ to do away with the law, the law, the law of animal sacrifice. Bring it out. That's it. So you can't eat pork. You can't eat strip. You can't serve God on Sunday. You can't do what you want to. You women can't wear pants. You women can't wear booty shorts. God said you can't do none of that because the law still stands. But we still on grace. I ain't forgot the thought. Let's read it again. For the grace of God have that belong for the grace of God that bring of salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodly. So grace is supposed to teach us to deny ungodliness. Another word for ungodliness would be what? What do you think? Another word for ungodliness. Do any of y'all know? Brother in the car, sisters? I'll tell you, another word for ungodliness is sin. So grace that tells you to deny sin. So for me, for an example, if I woke up and I accidentally bought something that had pork in it and I didn't know, the grace that God gave me is that I can repent and the next time, I'm going to double check to make sure that ain't got pork in it. It ain't that, oh, dang, I got pork in it. Well, I'm going to act like it didn't know, and I'm going to keep on coming back and getting that double uh, Whopper with cheese and a side of bacon on it. That ain't what grace is. God going to kill you if you use up all your grace, and you don't know how much grace you got. You know why we know that? Because the drug dealer stand on the, on the corner for 15 years selling drugs, and then all of a sudden, one day, boom, he get hit with a drive-by bullet. Grace gone. With a, with a cross on his neck, with a Jesus cross on his neck. He used up all his grace. God gave him chance after chance to repent. You know how God gives you chance after chance, you know he's giving you grace? Because God gave you high blood pressure, but he didn't give you a heart attack. That's grace. 
get your life right because you've been eating pork all your life and that pork came that high blood pressure came from eating the pork so the grace is that he gonna put you on some pills and not give you a heart attack but if you keep on eating that pork guess what god gonna do he gonna strike you with a heart attack that's called grace. It, it don't mean that you can keep doing the same thing you keep on doing. That's right. So let's go back to Matthew 5 and 17. Because of Matthew chapter 5 verse 18. Let's see what Jesus the Christ said Who about said? the law. Who? Jesus the Christ. What did he say about the laws of God? Read. Ma Matthew chapter 5 verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So Jesus the Christ just said, until heaven's gone and the earth is gone, the laws of God that the pastor tell you are done away with, right. Jesus the Christ said, right. them things still apply. That's right. That's right. So right now, as you ride by, you can either trust in man, your Sunday pastor, <laughs> what's it, uh, Here's another question. It just hit me. If we're not under the law, why are you black people still paying tithes? Bring it out. Bring it out. Ain't tithing a law under the Old Testament that was given to the Levites? That's a law? That don't make no damn no sense. Pastors say that we ain't under the law. Pastor your collection plate. Let's make sure these niggas pay 10%. Because I'm trying to get a $65 million jet. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that tithing is a law in the Old Testament because Negroes don't read. So you can tell them whatever you want to because Negroes don't read the Bible. They come here every Sunday and listen to me and they can't tell you the Ten Commandments if their life depended on it. Bring it out. That's how we know our blacks and Hispanics don't read. Because you can't recite the Ten Commandments. That's the basics of God. It's only ten. And we don't know those. So Jesus said, until heaven and earth pass, the laws will not be done away with. Go back to Leviticus 21, because we're still talking about the beer for the man. Bring it out. Leviticus Bring it out. chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Hey, brother, in the white hat. Now, I don't know. Do you got a bald head? Do you shave your head? So you so you shaving your head, right? So read that again. This is the law that Jesus said it won't be done away with. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So God said you ain't supposed to shave your head down like that. I know it might be comfortable. You ain't got sweating and all that type stuff. It's easy to maintain. But God said, right. don't shave that head bald. All right? And I'll show you why here in a second. Read on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So when you took that razor to your face, did you start right here or you start right here? Huh? cream but you shave though right oh if it falls right off right all right so when you gotta wash it off with a rag or something right with water now when you got that water you make sure you went back here and got it all off right all over your face right so some way you still taking a form of hitting it the corner of your beard to wipe it off so God said what Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So God said you ain't supposed to shave off your beard, whether it be with cream, whether it be with a razor, a Gillette, or an electric a shaver, whatever it be. God said don't shave the corner of your beard. Right. All right, give me Genesis 126. Now, that may seem like a very basic law, like is God going to judge me for that? Well, we just read in Matthew chapter 5 and 18 that Jesus said I didn't come to do away with that law. Right. Remember, if we Christians, what's Christian mean? Do you know? You know what a a follower of Christ? Exactly right. Did Christ have a beard on his face? So guess what we're supposed to be following? The same laws that Christ did. That's right. If we call ourselves Christians, we should be doing what Christ said. Christ kept the laws. Remember, Christ didn't see it, right? So Christ had a beard on his face, right? All right. So now let's see why why it's so important for a man. I'm speaking just about the man to keep the law of a beard. Why is it so important? For one reason, we all know that when you black people, you cut off your beards and all that, you get razor bumps. You ain't supposed to do that. God's, God gave you a beard for a reason. Read it. So read this in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Now brother, you a man, right? It said what? Let us make man in our image. So God said, let us make man in our image. 
So if you look like God, God look like you, what does God got on his face? Bring it out. What does God got on his face? Because we just read, go back to Leviticus. I'm going to show you, now listen. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So God said, don't shave off the corner of your beard. Back to Genesis. Genesis 1, 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. So God got a word on his face. Jesus Christ had a word on his face. And if you're a Christian, you should have a word on your face. Oh, that's where it stops. Oh, that's where the confusion is. Wait a minute, brother, because you just told me. You just told me a Christian is a what? And Christ had a beard on his face, right? The works of Christ? Well, what did Christ keep? Go to uh, 1 Peter real quick. I'm going to show you something. Let's read this, brother. Now listen up, because he said we're supposed to follow the works of Christ. A Christian needs to follow the works of Christ. So let's see what the works of Christ were. Start at verse 20. First Peter, chapter 2, verse 20. For what glory is it if ye be re... re sorry. First Peter, chapter 2, verse 20. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? Uh -huh. But... If when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even hereunto, where ye call, because Christ also suffered for us. So it said Jesus Christ suffered for us. We know that is being nailed to the cross, being beaten by the Romans, all right, and given over by his own people to the so-called white man, right? Hung on the cross all day. Jesus Christ suffered for us. Read on. Leaving us an example. Leaving us a what? An example. What is the example that Jesus Christ, what is the works that Jesus Christ left us? Read. That ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin. Jesus Christ did what? No sin. Jesus Christ did no sin. He did not break the law. So the law just said a man is supposed to have what on his face? What is he not supposed to shave off? Read it again for him. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Don't shave your head bald. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they take cream and put it on their face and wipe off their beard. That's a law. So now let's go to 1 John 3 and 4. Now that's a law. It said Jesus Christ did no sin. He left us an example. His works were he did no sin. So let's see what sin is so we can connect the dots of us having beards on our face, okay? Now, it's what? Well then, brother, if you know sin is the breaking of the law, go back to First Peter now, because it said Christ left us an example. His works were what? First Peter 2, 21. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, his works, that ye should follow his steps. Uh -huh. Who did no sin, who did not break the commandments of God. That's right. So a Christian is not supposed to be a sinner. A Christian is not supposed to break the commandments of God. Right. Yeah. So a man is supposed to have what on his face? A beard. If he calls himself a follower of Christ, a man should look like Christ. Because Christ's example, his works were that he did not break the commandments of God and he taught the commandments of God. Exactly what you see the brothers out here doing. That's right. The Israelites are the only true Christians on the face of the earth. That's right. I'm going to say it again, the Israelites, you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians that know you are Israelites can be the only true Christians on the face of the earth. Nobody else can be. Now give me that in John 14. Last scripture for me. John 14 verse 12. Let's hear it out of Jesus Christ on mouth, okay? John chapter 14 verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you. He that believeth on me, 
the works that I do, the what? The works that I do shall he do also. He shall what? He do also. Brother, do you believe in Jesus the Christ? Let's read this again then from the top. First John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, the works that Jesus Christ did, Jesus Christ kept the laws of God, he what? Shall he do also. So you should be keeping the what of God. There you go, brother. Every man that says he believes in Jesus Christ should be keeping the commandments of God because Jesus the Christ kept the commandments of God. That is how we walk in his steps. That is how we follow him. That is how we do the works of Jesus Christ. That's right. You understand that, brother? Give me Matthew 5, 16. This is the last one. Because we made in the image of God. God got a beard on his face. Jesus the Christ had a beard on his face. We're supposed to follow his works. Why is God so, a Christ so keen on saying, follow what I did? Do my example. Why is that? Matthew 5, 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light shine. Let your light so shine before men. The reason why it's so important, brother, for you to have a beard on your face, hair on your head, fringes on your clothes, keep the Sabbath day, to be congregating with other believers is because you're supposed to let the light that's in you shine to all men. We are walking in a dark place. We live in America, Babylon, that the Bible calls it. We live in a dark place where they say you can marry a man. You can marry a woman. You can, you can have sex with little boys. That's what it's called, Nambler. They trying to get have sex with little boys. You can marry your dog. You can dye your hair blonde. You can turn yourself on your own people and only be about money. This is the place we live in. This is a place of darkness that we live in. You can be a transgender. You can go into either bathroom that you want to. That's the law they trying to pass. This is a dark place. There is no light in America. There is no light in the ways that they follow here in America. So Jesus the Christ said, do what? Let your light so shine before men. Let your light, the keeping of the commandments of God, shine before man so that one day somebody might walk by and say, hey, brother, you got fringes on. What that come from? Oh, man, you didn't get angry with that brother, man. I would have cussed him out. Why didn't you do that? And then you can say, I love my neighbor as I love myself. We the Israelites according to the Bible, brother. But they can't see that if you're walking down the street looking like a regular Joe Blow. They're going to think you're just some other dude. When you seen us, you knew something was different about us, right? You knew, that's why you stopped. You knew something was different about these brothers standing in purple, in order. Beards on their face, hair on their head. Preaching the word of God. We let my light shine, brother, so that you can see it and return back to God, okay? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.